Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Steve. Hi. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Oh, it's a little chaotic. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, this has been wild for sure. I just don't understand what's going on, but the purpose is. No, this is crazy. This has gotten so far to me out of hand. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I'm with her on one side because I'm like, I I do feel like they should be taken seriously if they're received. But, about, so I just, I just literally, when I made that comment, came got in here. Before, so, yeah. You're talking about the season desist? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. What I don't understand is um, why they feel that they're entitled to control this whole case now. You know, like they've come in out of nowhere and they're like, hey, we're in control. We've got these lawyers. Um, why? I mean, um, if they have a problem with, you know, people doing whatever, then you know there's they could reach out to them privately you know the, the this to me seems like a bullying tactic it's to, it's to kind of scare a lot of people um off it you know keep in mind seize and desist are just requests that's all it is it's a letter saying stop this or i might file action against you mm -hmm. it's not a court order it has absolutely um you know zero authority to they're not even from what i've heard they're not even citing legal authority in it they're not saying well, you know if you don't we can sue you under you know this statute or whatever um and also this whole federal thing you know federal court is for constitutional law or um claims with the government uh, and you know um in, in cases where people are in different states and it still has to follow state law and so there would be all kinds of personal and uh, jurisdictional you know issues and there would be um jurisdictional issues over over the the law itself i mean th these things would never i don't think would ever get off the ground i mean i'm not listen i'm not giving anybody legal advice i'm just not personally worried about it but what i am concerned about is why they feel they have this power and why they're making these threats and what are they trying to do i mean they tweeted at me a couple hours ago saying that talking about waving a white who's gonna be waving a white flag i mean is this war i i, I don't get it i'm not in a war i um um you know i'm i'm there to search for him if, if they want to come at me then they can come at me and uh it's, it's not going to back me down i'm going to continue with the, you know because i'm on a mission not not in a war but they're they're treating it like that like it's theirs like they're protecting something and i just don't um understand why sf can i ask you a question sure. yeah. do, do you think that um they've somehow stolen the seth show though because remember seth even said his own words like this is my show it's mm -hmm. my son right well i think um i think they're clearly you know when they first came in they made it sound like they weren't uh, there for um e any parent they were they were there for sebastian even though the original letter that had the crazy you know talk about the drugging and it said that they had been retained by a person or entity on behalf of Seth Rogers, I think is some that's paraphrasing, you know? And um, so then when there was some pushback uh, against them, it was very clear that they're there for um, Seth or his dog would say Sean. And so I think it's, it's there to, you know, they're, listen, this is, this is playing out a lot like a, Hollywood script would right and I think there's a reason for that I think there's they're trying to um you know uh, monetize this in some way and it's and it's sad because they're not there where are the 24 investigators right where are they at? they're not here mm -mm. And 24 licensed Tennessee investigators they said so uh, you know where where are they and um where you know is dog there I mean because dog's not I, I don't you know, listen, there's a big difference between bounty hunting and missing persons. You know what I mean? Um, those are people that are trying to skip bail. They're people that are intertwined in these criminal networks. People are willing to roll on people all the time for deals. You know, these are 
we're talking about a 15 year old teenage boy that's gone missing. Um, he's not in that world. And, you know, dog trying to come in all scary. And I'm not just knocking dog. I don't like the tactics that he's used. You know, he's coming at me along with Nick. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, they are the ones who shot themselves in the foot coming out with their initial statement, including that truth serum stuff. I mean, which is against ridiculous, the, right? There, there's a Supreme court ruling on that from like the fifties. That it is absolutely not allowed. You know, doctors are not allowed to prescribe medication for non-medical unless it has a medical purpose to it and telling, you know, getting the truth out of me is not a medical purpose. So anybody, um, under any setting, you know, and then they tried to back it up saying, well, you know, it would be like, you you know, UC, or not, I don't said UCLA, but like Cedar sinai and, but they're, I mean, come on. Like they have, well, they have a truth serum division at, you know, Cedar sinai <laughs> Hospital. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. And, and it, this, this was already a big enough, there's so much chaos already in this case. And um, very few people out there, you know, searching because there's been these, these people like this and and then they're going on about threats right you know? um where are the police reports for these threats right you know um if, if there really are these serious threats that they keep talking about you know and even if they let's say they did get them well if you're if they're this tough elite um group from this five hundred thousand dollar minimum retainer intelligence agency are they afraid of that i mean i've received a death threat i think i showed it to you clue i can't remember but you did i received a death threat like a week and a half ago i haven't even mentioned it you know like it, it's not gonna scare me i know i know it's from them i know it's from somebody in their group and they're trying to it's scary it's not gonna scare me like it, listen i'm happy to tell them exactly where i'll be searching you know they um they have a problem with me they can come talk to me about it and then i'll just continue on with you know, searching because um, it's not a contest, it's not a war. Um, it's, it's it's what I do for a living, so I'm very protective of it um, to, to weed the scumbags out. And, um, you know, well, this is really unfortunate. I can say in terms of like searching, right? I, I almost feel like that's been a goal from the beginning to scare people because, I mean, for me personally, like, I hear that there's conversations in the background about planting evidence on our property. I'm darn sure not about to go through the woods and come upon something and then be made to look like a suspect. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and that's scary. scary that we're even having that discussion in a missing persons case. Right. It's yeah. I mean, it, it's really tragic. And then I, I hear people saying um, um, that, like Chris was threatening people of searching, you know, I, I know people think I'm taking sides. I, I haven't, I, I didn't take a side coming in at all. I, I talked to everybody I could talk to. And um, Chris was one of those people that, that was willing to talk to me. And he gave me all the information he had. He's given me a ton of information. He's like, is, you know, he, he it took a couple phone calls. He wanted to vet me out to make sure that I was not just, you know, playing them but once he found out i had legit intentions of just searching for sebastian he showed me the area he showed me he told me what he knew he told me what he thought um his personal thoughts um you know same with katie i, I just they want him found i mean you know these are distraught parents people think that they're like off vacationing and stuff these are distraught uh parents uh, you, you know and um uh, i wish you know just because they don't they're following TBI and Sumner or, or Sumner County's advice and, and laying low and, and not feeding the spectacle um, doesn't mean that they don't care. They are, they're distraught. They are. You'll talk Steve, to Katie. Well, got... You'll be talking to Katie and she'll just, I swear to God, it, it'll be like a conversation normal. And all of a sudden she's gone. She's lost it. Like yeah. something, she'll yeah. pick something up or she'll, I'll, maybe say something like a food or something and she's like oh yeah sebastian Lutt. and then yep. she's like a bucket of water yeah. i mean and you know and yeah and i won't give the context of the conversation but she said something the other day that just like dropped my heart when she's like uh, and we were talking about how some of sebastian's um things have been put out you know his personal life have been put out there you know by seth and and she's 
she talked about she's like you know when sebastian comes home uh, you know and she she does believe he is coming home and i love that she has that um oh. you, you know that that mindset uh, and um you know when i was leaving when i was in um there last week i was leaving and she just called me and said i just want to thank you for you know looking for my son and um you know um doing what you're doing you know and, and you know I mean, she probably doesn't want that public but you know she's a really like caring and uh really devastated um person you know it